Out of Mississippi, there was a different type of blues that emerged that was different than Delta blues. This style was called Hill Country Blues. This style was often played in juke joints for people to dance and have a really good time to. It's really more of an upbeat style and great for partying, as you can see. The techniques that were used to play the guitar in this style of music were completely different than the techniques used for Delta Blues. The guitar parts would emphasize a really percussive strumming effect that would often be played without a band. Sometimes it would be played also with a band. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the masters of this style and show you some of the techniques that are used in order to get the right sound out of your guitar. Now, there's a lot of guys that do this style and they, all their guitars sound a little bit different. So in this lesson, we're really just going to focus on the techniques and really focusing on the right hand this time. So if you want to get into hill country blues, there's basically two styles that you should focus on. One of them is called Delta Drone, and basically it's very similar to a Delta blues guitar, but often it's played on electric guitars and it's a little bit faster. It sounds something like this. Um... Stuff like that, and they play like riffs that will repeat often uh, over and over and over again. Um, and it kind of just like play. Goes. Um, things like that. So we're basically kind of a monotonic bass, and then minor pentatonic riffs or using blues scale riffs and stuff like that. The second type that you want to focus on is something that we call hypnotic boogie. And this is totally different than other genres. This is totally different than Delta Blues. It's, it's a groove based type of music where the guitar is very percussive style made with this rhythmic strumming. Um, and that might sound like something like um, this. Um. And they'll repeat riffs like that over and over again. One thing that you should notice here is that basically I'm kind of playing a bass line. But then I'm adding that, if you just play that, it doesn't sound anything like it, right? You've got to add the percussive, that percussive feel with the right hand. <laughs> okay, and that's the most important thing, I think, of this Hill Country Blues that makes it different than other genres because they don't do that as much in any other styles of blues. This is the most percussive style, and, and because of that, it's really fun to play. Often also, sometimes with that uh, kind of hypnotic boogie style and with the Delta Drone style, you'll have players play with a full band. So, you know, with drums or something, it might sound, you know, something like this. No. Real groovy. Okay. And it's, you know, you, they play it with and without the band. So the arrangements, kind of the way they're playing, whether or not they're playing with the band, they're doing that super rhythmic strumming style. Okay. So now let's check out actually some of these masters, some of the guys that made this style popular. They more or less invented this style. Uh, there's three guys we're gonna check out. One is Fred McDowell, two is Junior Kimbrough, and three is R.L. Burnside. These are three of the biggest names in this genre. And let's just jump in and check out what they're doing and I'll give you some tips on how they're achieving their sound. Okay, so the first one is gonna be uh, Mississippi Fred McDowell. Uh, this is a song called Shake Em On Down. Um, and this is, he's playing it solo, right? Open tunings, he's got a slide here. Okay. Hear that groove? Okay. Heavy right hand groove here. Okay, if you take a look at this right hand here, look at that right hand. Yeah, 
good shot of the right hand here. You can see he's using the thumb with a thumb pick and his index finger to kind of do some of this picking. Okay. Now this is what he's doing here. This is the style. <laughs> okay. Let's check that out. Um, so he's actually tuned to open E. I've got my resonator guitar here, my dobro that's tuned to, I think like open C. It's very similar, um, but it's not, I think he's kind of here, so, um, or maybe higher. But uh, notice when he's playing here, let's check that right hand out again. Let's see if we can get that groove. Okay. See that real, so what he's doing here is, if you can take a look at my right hand, uh, now this sounds lower in pitch, but it's the same idea. Okay, no, really percussive style. So check out my right hand here, what we're gonna do. So basically what we're doing is, kind of this alternating bass where we hit the low string and then kind of chuck the big, the, and then chuck the thin strings down here. So, okay. And it's not just about hitting those strings. If, if you don't give it enough power, it's not gonna sound right. Okay, so you really gotta dig in, okay, and give it like that, okay. Now second thing he's doing to give it some syncopation is he's alternating the index finger. So without any notes, it sounds like this. Okay, so notice I'm kind of alternating one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. Now if we put some notes into that, it sounds like this. Okay, now he's adding a slide in there too, so he gets some notes to sound like this. Okay, so the main percussion stuff is make sure you're kind of hitting this and then really aggressively hitting those top strings, okay? Now, as soon as you hit those strings, mute that with the right hand or the left hand. He's doing a lot of different right and left hand muting here. So, uh, it's similar. That's not exactly what he's doing, but it's very similar. No, just the right hand percussion is the main idea. Let's check that right hand out one more time. That's so cool, okay? Now he's gonna go up higher and play some more stuff. Okay, so that's uh, Fred McDowell. He's, he's, one of the, uh, he's one of the pioneers of this style. So definitely someone you should check out. Okay, second we're gonna check out, um, second we're gonna check out Junior Kimbrough. So Junior Kimbrough is another player, uh, amazing player. He is often playing with electric guitars here. And here you can actually see him playing uh, with his band in uh, one of these juke joints that we discussed. So let's check his playing out here. <laughs> so th this is cool. This is that uh, that kind of drone style where you've got a drone note and then he's playing these uh, repeated uh, riffs on top of it. So let's check that out a little bit more. Okay, and this is gonna be in a uh, standard tuning. Or similar. Okay, now he's actually in um, E flat standard tuning. So it's kind of, he's playing an A, so he's playing the Yeah, okay, so here we're just kind of monotonic bass, okay? Remember he's in A flat, so it would be kind of a, this position. Okay, um, but he's actually playing in open the A string, so he's actually sounding a little bit more like this. Uh. Uh, monotonic bass means you're just hitting the same bass note over again. It gives that drone. That's why we call it that Delta drone style. Let's check out a little bit more of that. Okay. And with the band, it's so cool. If you can see, you can barely see in the shadow here, you can see his right hand. Just that thumb is just continuously.
continuously going like that. Groove-based music, groove-based blues. That's what this is. Yeah. And again, you know, when people are playing this style, it's always, you know, about dancing, about having a good time. You know, um, they're always kind of playing these in these juke joints, kind of like dive bars where people are just having a really, really good time dancing. And, you know, it's about that groove, you know, without that groove, people can't dance to it. So that's, that's the whole point of this style. <laughs> so third, let's check out, um, let's check out one more. Uh, this time we're going to check out Aurel Burnside. He's uh, another one of the great players. Um, here we've got him playing um, just solo electric by himself, um, and he's doing that that rhythmic strumming here. So this is a really cool song. This is uh, "See My Jumper Hanging on the Line," one of his most famous songs. Yeah, you got a really good angle of his hand here. Very cool, very cool, right? And then we have, notice the position of his hand. You don't have to hold your hand crazy like this. You know, you can keep it in a comfortable position down here. Also notice he's not using a thumb pick. He's just using his thumb. And remember guys, you don't have to use a thumb pick. It just, it's kind of helpful sometimes, especially if you play for a lot of hours, long time. The thumb pick is really gonna help save your thumb from getting torn up. Because this style is really gonna tear your thumb up because the way you have to go, Okay, like that. Okay, um, so you saw his hand there, it's doing that same motion. It's almost like a strumming pattern that you kind of continuously do, like this, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Beats two and four, you're really slamming hard on those top strings. That's another reason why the thumb pick is pretty useful. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. That's the basic pattern. Check them out. Okay. He's also in F, so he's tuned his guitar up to F, but um But here in E, this groove, I'm gonna play this groove, it's similar. Um Okay. Um Basically, kind of a similar groove that he's doing there, but basically, we're doing that <laughs> bass line along with that chunka chunka sound. One. So, if you just, a good way to practice, maybe just instead of doing that bum 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 bum, just go back and forth between the low E and this string instead. So, that would sound something like this. A very simplified version. They don't usually have that straight kind of just root fifth motion. They usually do kind of more bass lines like I was playing earlier. Uh, okay, now notice how different that is if I don't play the chuck part. So that's not the same song, right? Notice those two beats two and four. I'm really slamming that real hard um, with the thumb. So one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, and four. And then plucking the index finger upwards for the and beats to make it syncopated. <laughs> All right, cool. So I hope you learned something on this. I'm gonna do a lot more videos and, and a lot more detailed, you know, specific song lessons and things like that coming up very soon. So stay tuned, guys. I'll see you in those later videos.